so it is 6 41 and I have to work out real quick I'm not even in frame Emma I have to work out real quick and then I gotta get dressed and go to work so oh also I had extra coffee this morning. I got out my big Starbucks cup. <laughs> um, because I only got two and a half hours of sleep. I could not sleep last night. I don't know why. Actually, I do know why. One reason is I sleep in on the weekends and then screw up my whole sleeping schedule. And then I have to figure out, my body has to figure out how to get back into, into the groove again. So... Mondays I'm usually out of whack. Anyways, I'm gonna go work out. Alright, I'm about to go to bed. Look how many steps I got. 8,861. I got real close to 10,000 steps. So what I'm going to do is 930 something. I'm just going to walk in place until I reach 10,000 steps. Because I have 1,200 and something steps left. This is gonna take a while. I'll be back. I have reached it. All right, so I have to get dressed to go to work soon and it is 6.45, so I'm just gonna do this quick walking workout and then hopefully we can get to 10,000 steps again today. We will see. So last night, I didn't show you, but I did another walking workout to get my steps in. I did same one I've been doing, which is the Kyra Fit 1000 Steps in 5 Minutes. I've been really enjoying that one because it's, it's relatively simple and easy to follow. So I really like it. Anyways, I'm going to finish this and go to work. I found Miss Bailey. Bailey. <laughs> She's in this chair. <laughs> so I'm about to hit 10,000 steps. Let's see if we can do it. Alright, let me just walk a minute. Is it, is it there yet? What the heck? Hold on. You get to look at my messy bed. <laughs> okay, so I've hit 10,000 steps. It's just lying to me. It's lying to me. What the heck? <laughs> oh, there we go. We got it. So if you watched last week's video on Wednesday, I saw a lizard and today I saw him again. He's back.
Imagine Snappy backwards. He pans. <laughs> Wait, what? Snappy backwards. He pins. He pins. He pins. <laughs> Pronounce it terribly. Say he pins. pins. Epi pins. Epi pins. <laughs> it's a conspiracy. The epi pins. Epi pins an obvious plant collab. It is yeah. cold. Give me an EpiPen, be free adrenaline. <laughs> I don't think it works that way. No, that's how it works. Seriously? Yeah, it's actually epinephrine, which is like uh, the scientific name for adrenaline. Oh. You learn something new every day. Yep. Why oh, this place is lit? <laughs> Bailey has found a refuge in my in my chair again. Hi, Bailey. She's so pretty. She's a pretty girl. So I'm about to eat pizza with a fork so that I will eat slower and maybe hopefully less. She's gone. I am so freaking mad right now. <laughs> I have been editing this video for probably over a week now. It was supposed to go up this Monday and now it's Friday. And I just, I cannot get it done for the life of me. Should I freaking trash it? Maybe. I don't know. Anyways. You see up here, I have exported this, oh my gosh, my heater is so disrespectful, it just cut on and I'm talking. Anyways, I have uploaded this video like three different times. This time, I actually uploaded it to YouTube and it got completely uploaded and done and then it got copyright claimed, which is not a big deal because I don't make any money from this anyways, but I just don't think it's a good idea to have that many copyright claims on your channel. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. So anyways, I'm like, well, I mean, I can fix it, so why not just fix it? So I did. I fixed it, and I exported it again, right? So what I did was I added some background music down here, and what my freaking editing software did, so there was already a space because I was playing the audio from the actual clip itself, but then when I muted that audio, I wanted to add some music in to keep it interesting or whatever. And what happened was this space ha had to be the same amount according to my software. And so what it did was when I added this audio, this music up here, it moved all of my other freaking audio way back here. So now what I got to do is move it all back here. And I'm already uploading this, this one. I'm already uploading this one. And it's like 57% done. And my 
with my internet it takes forever for anything to upload so I'm just like what what is going on I, I just can't get it together so now I have to cancel this upload and export this stupid video again and I'm so freaking mad about it I I just oh my gosh I just want to delete it I just want to get rid of it and start over but it's almost done I just have to fix the audio have to fix the music or whatever and then it'll be done but I'm just so freaking mad so angry because I have to edit my new video and I can't do that till this stupid video is done so anyways um hopefully it'll all be okay in the end I don't want to spill it but I'm eating spaghetti and garlic toast so Thursday morning I got iced coffee from McDonald's and the reason why I picked McDonald's is because it is on my way to work and it is on the right side of the road so all I have to do is turn in and pull out and turn back towards work again so I prefer Starbucks it is more expensive because McDonald's coffee is a dollar it's a dollar 55 now I think or dollar 70 something like that and it's like three something for my coffee at Starbucks so it is quite a bit cheaper but if I'm gonna get coffee and I'm gonna enjoy it I would prefer Starbucks but I have to cross the highway to get to that so I'm like nah it's not even worth it you know so usually if I'm getting coffee I will just go to McDonald's because it's faster and it's on the right side of the road but usually I just make my coffee at home because I have a coffee pot and what I do is I make my coffee and then I take it off of the coffee machine let it cool down and then put it in the fridge it's just easier and cheaper to do it that way so that's what I do most of the time but sometimes I want to go out for coffee and I'll do that. Bailey heard me talking and she came and joined us and the last time she did that I was wearing this exact shirt which is really funny but she's laying in my bed with me. I don't know if, can you see her? She's right here. Anyways back to iced coffee. So when I ordered my iced coffee that day whenever I go to McDonald's I always say can I have a medium vanilla iced coffee and that's it and so I said that I told her that and she put down sugar-free vanilla iced coffee which is not what I said at all and um I didn't even notice it until it popped up on the screen and um I'd already said thanks so I was just like well I'm I guess I'm getting sugar-free coffee today so I don't know it was just weird because I didn't say sugar-free Free. but it sounded like she was having maybe a bad day or something she didn't sound too happy so I just didn't I was like that's okay I'll drink sugar-free coffee I'm also the type of person like if I get the wrong food if somebody gives me the wrong food I'm not gonna say anything I'm just gonna eat it um, if I can I don't like mushrooms and I don't like mayonnaise I cannot stand mayonnaise <laughs> it is so gross to me so I don't eat mayonnaise and I don't eat mushrooms but if I get it on my food um sometimes I can just pick it off mayonnaise is harder because if you put it on a sandwich it's like absorbed into the bread which is ugh. but sometimes even then I will wipe it off of the bread and just continue on about my day I hate mayonnaise so I don't even like to look at it or I just don't like mayonnaise it's so gross all that to say is I drank sugar-free coffee from McDonald's on Thursday and it wasn't that bad it did have a it tasted a little bit different but it was pretty similar to what I always get Thursday and Friday I did not hit my 10,000 steps and I also went over calories and I'm not too proud of that but I felt like I really needed a break Thursday um I just could not get my steps in at work I don't know it was just it was a busy day for one and I was really tired so it didn't help it was a bad combo. My steps for Thursday was 3,461 and I had 1,700 roundabout calories. Friday my steps were 1,342 and my calories are around 1,800. So for the whole month of January I lost 5 pounds which is amazing. Now realistically you could lose up to 8 pounds in a month that is 2 pounds per week but I'm trying to be more sustainable about it. I'm trying not to go too extreme because I feel like if I go really, really extreme with like diet and exercise and stuff, 
then I'll burn out and then I want to quit. I'm the type of person that doesn't like to do things slowly. I like to just go all in and go all out and just head first into something. But with diet and exercise, I have to be careful with that. Like if I go all in and I exercise so much that I hurt myself, then that's not good either. And I have done that before. I started running it was like a few years ago and I would run in the park every day and then I pulled something and I couldn't run for a long time after that and so it really does mean more harm than good to just go all in like I want to but I still want to I still have that tendency to do that like this week I hit 10,000 steps it's Monday Tuesday and Wednesday and then by Thursday I was so tired that I couldn't do anything so I don't know I've got an issue with that and I need to I need to just take it slowly. 10,000 steps is not that bad. And I actually can do that. It's just. I don't know. I, I hadn't done that much working out. In a very long time. So for me to do all of that. Within three days. I think it just wore me out a little bit. But I feel like 10,000 steps is not that bad. And I can surely do that. I hope every day. I don't know. We'll see. And with diet and stuff. I just try to stay under 1,500. And realistically. That's a good goal for me because I think my maintenance calories is 1,900. I think. So, I think 1,500 is a pretty good number for me. However, I have been hitting pretty below that. Like, normally, lately, I've been hitting about 1,200 to 1,300. But anyways, it was a really good week this week. Wednesday, my brother and I, we went to the park. We had a really good time until... Both of our hands were really chapped and um, he pulled something in his shoulder. So wasn't the best in the end, but we had a good time while we were there. Funny thing is we both wore gloves. Like he wore gloves the whole time we were there and still got chapped hands. And then I wore gloves until like the last 10 minutes. And my hands were like, I don't know if you can tell, they're still a little red from it. But they're not as bad as they were a few days ago. So, hmm. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in next week's vlog. Bye!